Special shout out to all my patrons. Yellow. Hello. What's up? I'm gonna get you that I'm gonna get you that thirty dollars right fast. I bet you I get it for you. I mean I'm not really worried about that. I'm more interested in having a debate. Well if that's the case, then if somebody tries to pay you to kick me, then don't kick me right away. It just depends on what you're saying. Something that will be worthy of a debate. Okay, what do you want to debate? Okay. Hmm. Usually I go about the trans topic, but um, that's just, that's the, you have to, I guess we can start there since it's number one. Uh, unless you want to go towards a particular topic of your choice. I'll do whatever you want to talk about. Because I don't guy. agree with. I don't really agree with any of your topics. All right, let's pick one. You want me to? I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, we can go with the trans topic. If you like, we can go with anyone. It's up to you. Uh, I, dude, I don't care. Whichever one. Doesn't matter to me. All right. We'll just go one by one then, okay? Let's, let's see. We'll go in order. How about that? Um, trans youth deserve gender affirming care. If a, if a little girl doesn't feel like a girl, yeah, they should go get estrogen. I can agree with that. They, they should go get some estrogen. Okay. Right, so 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 with that being said, we understand that gender affirming care is not that little girl getting testosterone in this sense. We're talking that little girl is getting estrogen. Yeah, girls would get estrogen, boys would get testosterone. Oh, so the, what about the other way around? Are you with that or what? Why would a girl need testosterone? Wow, maybe you're not so much as okie dokie. Well, never, never mind then. We, we, we're we on the same page on that. Okay. I don't think we are. I think you just don't think that trans kids are the gender that they assign, that they are, uh, they identify as where I do. So a little trans girl no, is a girl. I'm not saying that at all. she wants estrogen, she can have estrogen. I'm not saying that at all. Boys are born more feminine and, and girls are born more masculine. That's a fact. Is it not a fact? That girls are born masculine? Some girls are born more, some girls are born more masculine and some boys are born more feminine. I don't right? think we're born masculine or feminine. I think we're born babies. And then masculinity and femininity tends to develop itself over time. Okay, so now you're forcing a disagree. You're trying so hard to disagree here. So well, let's let's be more. I don't think babies are. Then. I don't think babies are feminine or masculine. Obviously, we're talking more of when the boy, when the babies grow into the person that they are. Not so. Isn't there are girls out there that don't like to paint their nails and play with dolls and put on makeup and express their feminine side? There are some. There are some girls that actually like to be more masculine and, uh, and, and pertain themselves into more what is considered masculine uh, properties in the world. Yeah, but those are girls and boys, so I don't know what they have to do with like trans, the trans topic. The trans is the fact that they don't feel that that's what they're supposed to do. No, trans doesn't, trans doesn't equate to gender roles. It equates to gender identity, which are two different things. Trans, tra trans equates to gender in general and how a woman or a girl doesn't feel feminine no it equates, to your, like it equates to your gender identity not your gender roles it equates to whether uh like when we're talking about like whether you feel like a girl that would be gender identity uh when we're talking about what girls can or can't do in society that would be gender roles See, what girls and girls can or can't do is gender roles. The feeling of being a girl and how not being able to express that properly because you don't want to is gender expression. The actual gender itself is the characteristics that, that are called feminine or masculine. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think being feminine or masculine equates to 
whether or not you're a boy or a girl. That's just whether or not you're masculine or feminine. Your gender identity would equate exactly. to whether you're not you're a boy or a girl. That's the thing. That's what that that's what testosterone does to a man. It makes them more masculine. When they hit puberty, they get a huge surge of testosterone, and all of a sudden, boom, they're masculine. They possess more strength. They have a little more urge and aggressiveness within them to do certain things. And maybe not in a negative notation, but in a notation. Masculinity is a thing. I would disagree that strength is a masculine trait. Uh, well, let's see here. Obviously, anyone can have strength, but not anyone can produce a certain amount of strength. What is that supposed to mean? How, what does that mean? There's no other way I can say it. Not everyone can produce a certain amount of strength. My wife cannot bench press 315 if she traded for it for a long time without taking testosterone. Because some, I already have wait, a there are women who don't. There are women who bench 315 that don't take testosterone. That's not a common occurrence, is it? Doesn't, it, it doesn't matter that if it's common or not. It, it does. Common. That's how we decide what things are. We decide what things are based upon their common uh, characteristic. We know that dogs are dogs because that's what dogs are. Their relation to wolves because of their common characteristic. We deem the best in relation. Things are are named and coined for reasons. We know one plus one is two because every time we add one and one together, it's two. We can't change things just because we feel that they're different. We can't change things because we feel that they're different. We do that all the time. We do that with actual proof on why it's different, and then we coin it. And that's what society has been built upon, the things that we've learned about life. No, I would, I would, I would disagree. I would say we, we change things constantly. We're changing, we're changing definitions. We're changing our understanding of things as we gain more knowledge on a certain subject. I would say at this point, we've that's gained a I'm lot more, about. we've gained a lot more knowledge on the subject of gender. So the, the idea of what makes something a man or a woman that we've been like rigidly sticking to doesn't really fit that anymore. My point exactly, a man being more feminine is okay. With that being said, they can A, apparently they can go get more estrogen, get some estrogen in them to fully convert to themselves to what they feel a woman would be, or B. And, and, oh yeah, let's back up a little bit. If a man is, if a boy is feminine and they grow up to be a man and they decide to go get ge a gender affirming care and they want more estrogen put into to them to be the social construct of what people are going against in the first place, what is the point of that? Well, if they're if they're transitioning, then I would argue they were probably never a boy. They were just forced to stick to the biological roles that uh, society placed them in. What are biological roles? Well, so that of they were a boy because somebody looked at their their private parts and said you're a boy. Those roles are strictly biological. Wait, that's a that's a biological role that's unchanged. That's literally what it is. You can't change that. Yeah, you can absolutely change what what type of genitalia you have. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can, you, can, okay, you can change. You can you can cut things off. Yes, but that doesn't change what you were born as. Once you're born, you can't go back and be reborn. Wait. <laughs> so this is this is where I think our issue of contention is. What do you think a a man is? We can go to all 12 definitions if you like, or you want me to use my common sense. Well, I'm asking what you think a man is. I don't I don't care what common definitions are. I'm asking what you, in your mind, if somebody were to ask you what's a man, what's your response to that? Okay, so I'm gonna say it again, because if you, if you wanna go by me personally, it's simply put, a male in an adult form. Okay, what's a male? But if we we can go by the we can go we can go by the twelve definitions. No, I don't. I'm I'm, on, I'm I'm not debating other people. I'm debating you. So I only care about like what your ideas are, right? What you th you think they are. So you said it's an adult male. Well, what is what's what's a male? What's the necessary requirements to be a male? Well, usually when we really want to boil down to it because doctors don't take the time and really like focus hard on whether or not this person is a male or a female from birth, they immediately go with genitalia as a ma as one of the major things. And they do this prior to being born, actually, with an ultrasound. And sometimes they make mistakes because instead of seeing what they thought was a, a, <clears throat> a uh, I can't, can we say that word? I don't know. But, um, can we say scientific terms on TikTok? I forget. 
usually yeah but I, I i'm not worried about like what doctors i again i i'm just i just want to break down like your thoughts and opinions on this i don't i don't care what like is common i care what you believe i'm trying to get to the basis of like what your th beliefs are in this subject oh there's plenty of indications of what a male is as we grow in time and figure it out but from birth male is a one with a with a male appendage up there we'll say that a male appendage and Great. a and female's a, one with a vaginal is appendage. that a necessary requirement or is that just a typical that is a major indication anything different would indicate something is not totally correct well a i don't believe we can use the phrases correct when it comes to people um i don't think yeah nowadays ever, anything is correct i know right no i just don't think nowadays anything is correct no i just don't think people are ever born one way we're all born differently like even even you and i like we we probably are both cis men but there's probably a lot of genetic variation between us so i don't so to so oh, of course to that's, say what's, that's genetic there's that's no 100 percent man in the world like we there everybody has testosterone and estrogen but, what but when asking, we come out into this world what i'm asking is is there a necessary requirement to being a man is there something that you have to have in order to be a man and if you don't have that you're not a you're not a, or a male i guess we were talking about male specifically uh -huh. if you don't have a if you don't have a damn near fully functional penis or or scrotum then obviously you would have a vagina because it's if, if you don't have a penis and you don't have a vagina you don't have either one of those then what are you um, well, you would you would probably be in the intersex category, but okay. So then people no, that, who... wouldn't, that wouldn't be that wouldn't even be intersex because intersex no. actually reflect somewhat on the male and female characteristics of genitalia, but not entirely. If you don't have either one at all, that's just something wrong with that baby. No, that's that, that's that would be an intersex condition. That would like scientifically that would be something wrong that's... with that. That and, and by the way, intersex is an actual condition. That's a rare situation that doesn't happen normally. That's why people don't use that every day as something that normally happens. That's why we're debating about what intersex is now because it's not something that normally happens. If we had 500 billion people, if we had 500, no, I'm sorry, if we had 500 million people born with a third leg, that would probably be something that we would consider as a part of human life more than intersex because it's a normality um again i don't consider there to be a normal to the way people are born because we're consistently born different so i don't think there's a normal i think you could say there's a there's a typical and an atypical but i think using the phrase normal would be a little disingenuous so it, but as i was saying if yeah, we, because... if we... <laughs> sorry i'm sorry I, I was trying to interject go ahead sorry yeah if we're saying that the necessary conditions to be a man are being born with a a working penis and scrotum then anybody who's born intersex that may still have male um uh like chromosomes you would you would consider them not to be a man under your no, under your categories not at all. that's 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 not what i said that's not what i said yeah, because no, there are male that there are there are male intersex people that are born with something that looks like a male appendage but it's not necessarily a fully a uh, function or a fully developed one so then we would say that they're a male but they are intersex with complications which in the future they would <clears throat> they would grow up and have to somehow deal with these complications that's why a lot of intersex people are infertile because it is a complication it is a condition it, it, it's not exactly what we as human species, as a human species, would prefer we would prefer a baby, bo a baby male born, being able to grow up as a boy and then grow up as into a man and fully be able to impregnate a woman. Because there is a difference between the two, by the way. I hope we know that, and I'm sure we do. There is a congruent difference between the two. And guess what? We have named those differences in various ways. Okay, I don't. I don't need the monologue. So you said that the necessary <clears throat> condition to be a man is to be male, and the necessary condition to be male is to have a working penis. Now you're saying that that is not the necessary condition to be male. So then what is the necessary condition to be male? 
I never said not a working penis. No one knows if a penis works or not you, simply by I looking at it. I asked you specifically what the necessary condition is to be male. You said to have a functional penis and scrotum. I asked you that very specifically. Now you're saying that people can be male and not have functioning ones or not have ones at all. So then those oh, are, yes, that is so, not a necessary oh, yes, condition to be yes. male. Yes, of, yes, yes, of course. They can have a not a, a penis that doesn't do all that well. But who's to tell that until they grow up and they find out? We're and not. Then, I put you like this. I put you like this. I put you like this. If a if a baby is born and we see a vagina, it's a girl. We're not going to say it's a man. We're not going to say it's a male. We're not going to. We're born, a baby is not going to be born and we're going to see a vagina on that baby and then we're going to say that's a male. That will never happen. If that happens, that doctor needs their license revoked. They shouldn't even been a doctor in the first place. They're totally confused based upon human and life itself. What if they have AIS? Oh, it's a condition. See? Right. Now we're naming conditions, right? Medical conditions, meaning something is wrong. You set a necessary requirement to be a... Now you're saying if they don't have a... If they have a vagina, they're a woman. That That's a necessary requirement. We I mean, see we a vagina, can, we're saying we woman. We can literally... Do you know what we can I literally go off, when I say the phrase necessary can, condition? Can, do you know what I mean when I say that? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know that we can do you know that we can literally go on a tangent on what could be the possibilities if something is wrong? I can sit here and invent so many things in my mind or what could happen if things are possibly wrong. We're trying to decipher what is right. Stop do naming you know things what, that are wrong. Do you know stop, what a necessary condition things. is? Do you know what a necessary condition is? I've already said it. Can we stop naming no, do you know what medical the concept conditions to try to justify people do you with medical what the concept necessary condition is? Do you know what the con that concept is? When I I've already told you, and I'm gonna I'll, I'll repeat myself. I'll yeah, repeat myself. But every, time you've, every time you've said uh, yeah, it. So if you said yeah, if you said yeah, then you're agreeing that I've already named a necessary condition. You're trying to force every a way time to you've said it. You're every time you've said it. it Every time you have said it, literally every single time, you have been illogical and you have been and you have like backtracked. Like you, you keep saying one <laughs> thing in, and then incorrect. saying another. No, it's not incorrect. Incorrect. Every it's time incorrect. I've said it, you brought up a medical condition. I don't care. That's what you've done. If I brought I'm up not, a medical I'm condition, I'm not sitting there thinking about I'm a medical condition you, and, and thinking that babies are wrong or something wrong with the baby. I'm not I, thinking that. I'm not thinking that babies are automatically going to have a medical condition. If you're unable to engage in the conversation, just say so straight up I, you keep I, like, telling if me you're that. unable to engage i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like it's just a waste of my time i asked you very specifically what a necessary condition was to be one thing you said a i said what if it doesn't have a you said well then it's still that thing so then that thing is not a necessary condition so either you give me the necessary condition or we recognize there are no there is no like one way to be a man or a woman and then just because trans people are are the gender that they uh identify as doesn't mean that they don't fit into the categories of man and woman and or male or female okay so let's try this again the necessary conditions for a male to be coined as a male is to have a penis and a scrotum or if they have something similar to that then obviously they're still a male but something is wrong because we're going to include medical conditions in this situation we're not going to talk about a healthy world we're going to talk about medical then conditions it's not as a well. necessary That's condition what we're going to do. if you can if you can not oh, okay, have so, it okay so let me if ask you cannot have let me it ask you, what and are you're still in that category then it's not a necessary condition it's a deformity if a male is born with a penis without a scrotum. What if they're born without a penis? What if they're what if they have XY chromosomes and are born with a vagina? <laughs> what about that? If they if they're... if they're... that's a condition, it's a medical condition. <laughs> Dude, you're you keep just, naming you genuinely, medical you genuinely situation are unable to understand the conversation and it's getting frustrating because I don't know how to how it's to explain it to you. Because you don't understand. You just you don't can't have the ability to understand. You can't explain the medical condition. You don't have the... You're, you're naming medical condition. You are quite literally incapable of understanding the conversation right now. And you're still naming medical conditions. It doesn't matter that it's a medical condition. Are people born that way? Yes. If they're born if this way, I don't care. That's just like, like it happens as much as, as people are redheaded. But we don't exclude redheaded people when we talk about hair color. <laughs> If it, if it didn't matter that it was a medical condition, it would never be called a medical condition. That's stupid.
That is no, it is pretty that quite. Is, that is quite legitimately a, it's quite that is legitimately because, a dumb response. Let me response. tell you why. Let me tell you why. Okay, if 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 if, if it was the thing that it's you know medical conditions are stupid, then a, a person that doesn't fully have the the the, the 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 functionality of a penis, one that they might grow up with the same condition and they want to have a family. They can't have a family with their genetic DNA without going to some that uh, has self nothing off to do with the conversation that we are having. So you're just pivoting you, to something oh else. God, you're trying the hard conversation to trying we are currently having is what does it mean to be a man and what does it mean to be a woman? And you said to be these and things, you would it. fall into male or female, but you cannot name the necessary conditions to be male or female. You physically can't do it okay, let because me, let me everything again, you okay? bring up Every time you bring up now, now understand when I say necessary, that let means me, you can me only be male if you have X. Uh, now, if you if you are going to say that there are people without X that are still male, then it is not a necessary condition. So go ahead and explain to let me, me say it again. again how let go me, ahead. Let me, let me say it again. I'm going to repeat myself again. If a baby is born, they have a penis and a scrotum, they are male. If they have a penis without a scrotum, we will call that per, that baby a male. Definitely then a not a scrotum is not a, then a scrotum is not a necessary with, condition. With complications. Scrotum is not a necessary condition. With a condition. medical condition. Okay, so what you're telling me is, what you're telling me is, if you didn't have a scrotum, you wouldn't think that there's a medical condition with you. We're you think not that's totally talking, normal. My guy, I just don't understand how you are this incapable of having this conversation. Okay, I asked you the necessary conditions, not whether they have medical whatever. I'm, okay, if I were to say to you, I can't believe I have to use this this fucking analogy again. If I were to say a pancake breakfast is anything that has pancakes, butter, and syrup, but in the same breath I said, but if it doesn't have butter, it's still a pancake breakfast, then butter is not a necessary condition to be a part of a pancake breakfast because having butter or not having butter doesn't matter. So you're saying it's a penis and a scrotum, but if they don't have a scrotum, they're still a, they're still a man. So the scrotum doesn't matter. It's not a necessary condition. The now you're does saying matter. no, it's it a doesn't medical because condition. it's dude. Dude, are you joking right now? You telling me that there's going to be are a society joking? where people believe you don't need to throw them as a man. There are you plenty don't need of them. To them. That's what you're there saying. There are plenty of them. There you're, are plenty okay, of so, societies. And I guess, and I guess those men are totally happy with not having a scrotum and not yes, being able to reproduce. Yes, there are plenty of there are plenty saying. of societies they, like you, this. Yes. All right, let, let, let's hear it. Let's, let's na name one. Name one, because I'm about to go get my, my laptop if you really want to go there. Name I mean, one society. At, that's okay. You can look at. You can name look at, one society. You can look at any society that accepts trans people. Any single one. I, I's not, I'm not talking about trans people anymore. I'm any talking about one. the fact what you're saying is. What you're saying is there are men in this world that are okay and they are accepting uh, to the point to where they are not unhappy or dysphoric at all without having a scrotum and they believe there is nothing wrong with them. That's what you're telling me. You're telling me that there are men on this world that think they are perfectly fine without a scrotum. Do you notice the insane amount of pivoting you're doing from the actual point of the conversation? Now we've gone. You know from, that you're now not we've gone from, my question. What, look, look, now we have gone from not what my question. makes somebody a man and a woman to you going, nah, men are upset if they don't have scrotums. I guess first of all, you're I guess Unix, I guess question. Unix just never fucking existed in your in your mind. You, you, Secondly, you, you, I, mean, not, I don't have to I'm, answer your question because it has nothing to do with the conversation that we're having. It has zero to do with the conversation. It's your life. I know you don't have to it do anything zero. if you don't it want to do it. It's your zero life. to do it's, with it's the conversation. Life. You are you are doing a very it's classic debate you tactic. You want to. You're doing a very classic tactic from people who are unable to engage in the conversation, where you pivot to something I'm really else. Doing exactly where you what pivot. You say. No, I'm you're your not. Question. You're I pivoting the question, to another you name a medical topic. Condition. You are pivoting to you another topic because you cannot you handle the current topic that we're in. So you're pivoting to another. Wow. You you literally this is what you're doing. Okay, you say what are the necessary traits of for for a baby to be called male? I say a penis and a scrotum. You say what if the baby doesn't have a scrotum? I say well the, the baby is still a male, but there's complications. You say that's not what I'm asking for. Like what? Dummy! Oh my god, bro! What? I can't. What? Do you know what the word necessary means? What is? Can you define okay, necessary so for me? How about this? You need to be more less vague than what you're saying. What I'm are the necessary vague. requirements? Necessary what, is what a very specific word. No, 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 no. 
What is what are the necessary requirements for a fully healthy male? Answer my question. What are the necessary requirements for a fully healthy male? I don't think there yes. are specific necessary conditions to be male. You do. I don't. No, no, no. So, <laughs> so what you're saying is we're all there's no there's no such thing as men and women anymore. That's what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying there's no necessary condition, dummy. Oh, I feel like you, my God. I feel like, I feel like you don't, you physically can't comprehend the phrase necessary condition. Like, you just don't get I feel it. Like it. I feel like one day you're going to, like, say, I'm the penis that I have means, it, it, it means that I'm a woman today. That's what you're going to tell yourself. You're going to no, you advocate you just straight up don't that. know what the phrase necessary <laughs> oh condition means. You don't, can you define, define necessary that. condition? We define necessary condition. We need to move on, please. We will, once you we define, all, well, we've once already you define been necessary there. condition. We need to move on, because we're already there. You're still stuck. You're looking for a specific answer, and I've already given you many answers. Once you define it, we'll move on. And then you bring up I already did and guess what no, you, you said what about ALS you said what about ALS no, that means not, you heard my answer that's not a definition of necessary condition that's not a definition of necessary condition you heard it you literally heard my answer that's not a and you continued on with it and then when you named that's ALS I said that's a medical condition that's I said the requirement for a, I, I said the I gave you my opinion and you that's answered it a, with AL, ALS or AIS or whatever the hell it is. I said there were condition. necessary requirements. I you said the pivot. necessary you can requirements. Keep pivoting all you want. I I'm said, not gonna, I, I'm not I gonna said the away. necessary requirement. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can keep this, disagreeing all you finish want. Finish this monologue. We can both go outside. We can both go outside and say, hey, the sky is blue. And you can still disagree. That's exactly what you can You can disagree on purpose all you want to. That's what you're doing. You're disagreeing on purpose. If we both want to go to the nitty gritty situation the necessary requirements for a male is a penis and a scrotum on birth if the penis and or scrotum are not there obviously we don't know what that person is if they don't have penis or scrotum but they don't have a penis or scrotum which is a very rare condition to not have a vagina in return then something is wrong lord Shout out to Betty for, for donating to boot the guest. I would have just asked the exact same question that wouldn't have gotten an answer is what is a necessary condition? He doesn't know what necessary is. He's not able to to articulate. And then he's trying to pivot to 50 other things because he's not able to engage in the actual conversation that we're having. Uh, that's fine. Happens all the time. If you're gonna if you're gonna claim something is necessary and then claim that you can be the thing without the thing, then it's not necessary. This is basic fucking 101. Basic.